next section, Dr. Uh, Igor Motil is going to give us a talk about uh, the short wave on the treatment of ED. And Dr. Motil uh, is, was born in Slovakia and uh, he received his medical education in Slovakia. And uh, in, uh, he, re he was trained in uh, Geo Geoba, a city of uh, uh, Czech Republic. And in 1998, he received a certification of urology. And uh, in 2002, uh, he started to run his own outpatient clinic, which is mainly focused on ED treatment uh, and also uh, men's health. And he has many expertise in many fields of urology, including laparoscopy surgery, endo-urology surgery, urology, and of course, including uh, uh, men's health and ED uh, treatment. And since 2013, he has been using uh, short wave on the treatment of uh, erectile dysfunction. He has, made, he has much uh, clinical experience and also has many uh, groundbreaking studies and papers. And today, uh, he's going to give us a talk uh, about ED treatment by linear short wave tissue coverage technique. Uh, let us give him a big, big hand. Um, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, first of all, thank you very much for an invitation to your beautiful country. It's my pleasure to be here and to tell you something about this new possibility of ED treatment. Uh, let me start about the uh, ED definition shortly. Probably you know everything about it as you are a specialist doctor, so I just want to tell that uh, statistics indicate that more than 60% of males aged about 35 have sexual dysfunction of different degrees. That means that we have a a really huge number of patients suffering from this condition. And the reason of ED is in the majority of cases uh, organic, as you can see in this picture and uh, about 70% is vasculogenic etiology. So atheroid sclerosis means that the walls are going to be thickened and uh, uh, there is a less blood flow and the uh, arteries are losing the elasticity, which means it's restricting the regular bloodstream. And so uh, it's very important to choose the patient with the vascular etiology of ED. And by doing this, we can use uh, many laboratory tests like renal hepatic function, testosterone deficiency test, or blood sugar tests, or we can do also vascular testing. In our practice, besides the laboratory testing, we usually use ABI index, which is the ankle brachial pressure index. Uh, 就是它的这个ankle就是这个手肘手臂这个压力的这个index 啊，用这样的一个指标。Uh, 
which is an early indicator of endothelial dysfunction. 那么这个就可以找这个，等于说这个指标可以啊呃,呃早期的指出来它有没有这样的动脉这个粥状硬化。But if you have experienced the、uh, doctor, you can use also doctor's ultrasound. 那当然呢，你如果有经验的话，你也可以用另外一个，就是 do twice 的，就是呃双功能的这个 ultrasound。Or injection testing with c a r b o g e a l c o h o l 那当当然也可以用注射的的一个方式来做测试。Uh, here we have three stages of ED treatment suggested by European Association Urology Guidelines from 2013. 那这是一个欧洲泌尿科呃协会二零一三年推出的一个规范。那么它有把它分成有三呃个阶段的 ED 的治疗。As you can see, the shockwave therapy is uh, uh, established as a first line therapy together with oral pharmacotherapy and vacuum erection devices. 啊、uh, ，我们可以看到啊，第一线、第二线、第三线。第一线的治疗的话，我们正波就把它归类到第一线 （first line） 的这个治疗。那么，还有另外两个呢，并列在里面。比如说，服用这个 BD 五这个 inhibitor 的，还有这个 vacuum erection 的这个，三都列在第一线。呃、uh, ，this is only a very brief history of shockwave use in medical field. Probably you know that it starts in the 80s in urology by using the shockwave for stone fragmentation. Then in orthopedics and later in for ED treatment. Ah, 这边是简单介绍一下是我们这个 shockwave 在医这个医疗上面的这个使用的历史。当然从八零年代我们就知道，在泌尿科方面的话，就这个碎石的部分，还有在骨科，在九零年代呢，我们做这个抗发炎的。那么最近在两千年以后就呃运用到 ED. Ah, I would like to mention one、uh, important thing because、uh, in some countries. There are、uh, used pressure waves for ED treatment. Ah, 我这边有个比较重点的呢，我想要提一下，就是在某些国家，他们是用压力型的波，就是 pressure wave 在做。And this is not uh, uh, this is not good because、uh, pressure waves could be pressure waves have completely different、uh, physical characteristics. 啊，那么压力型的波 （pressure wave） 的话，其实呢，并不理想的，因为它整个的物理特性啊，跟我们的这个是不一样。And、uh, for ED treatment and、uh, the creation of new vessels could be used only focused shock waves. 啊，在 ED 的这个治疗方面呢，要在那个血管呢，在新这个新生的话，只能用 focus 的这样的一个 shock wave. Here you can see the important study. Uh, which has been done in 2008 in the United States, and this study confirms that、uh, pressure waves could be harmful to erectile tissue. Uh, 这边有一个啊，二零零八年的这个研究报告，那么在美国做的，它是针对这个 pressure wave 的这个啊波呢来呃研究，它可以这个证明说有可能造成这个啊这个危害，组织的危害。So once again, we are talking about focused shock waves, which are completely different. And here is the study that confirms that focused shock waves are safe. 好，那么我们当然可能是主要是讲 focused 的啊，这种聚焦型的这个 shock wave 的这个治疗，那它是这个安全的。所以这边的这个 study 呢，就显示出来，它做出来是相当不错的。As you can see, as a result of this study. No traumatic tendon changes after extracorporeal shock waves at the maximum energy flux density of 0.28 millijoules. 那这边我们可以看底下那一排字啊，就是在 0.28 millijoule 的这样的一个 density 底下来做的话，啊，这是 maximum 哈，那它就不会造成任何这个 tendon 的这个肌腱的一个任何的改变。And here are the density. Here are the densities of the currently used devices. So you can see the energy is very low, and it's absolutely no danger. Ah, 这边是各个不同的这个厂家的这个机器哈，所使用的 density 我们都可以看到，都是很低的，所以都是安全的。Uh, here I would like to mention a few studies, but only very briefly because there have been done and done dozens of studies on this topic. 好，那么这边是稍微提几个 study， 那么这些都已经是做完那些 study 了。呃、uh, ，it、uh, starts in with the use of、uh, of shock waves in cardiology
啊，那么这些都是开始使用这个振波，在这个这个 cardio 啊，这个 vascular 这边的。In chronic myocardial ischemia。好，那么它也用在这个，比如说，呃，这个血管的增，呃，这个血管内皮的这个生长因子，还有这个脐带的静脉这边。Then came another important studies, uh, and the first very important, uh, was from uh, 2010. Uh, made by Professor Bardi. Uh, here, uh, he used red is a low intensity shock And in this study, he confirmed that uh, extracorporeal, low intensity extracorporeal shock wave therapy improved erectile dysfunction. 这一个报告主要的结论就是说呢，使用这个 low intensity 这个振体外振波的话，会改善 ED 的这个状况。Here are other two important studies by Professor Vardy and his colleague Gurenbal. And based on all these studies, as I mentioned before, in 2013, this uh, kind of treatment has been recognized by European neurology as an eligible method of first-line therapy. Ah, 那么这边啊也是很重要的几篇这个 study 的这个报告。那么像第六个那个 Vardy 就是刚刚我们的前面的报告有提到这个啊这个这个医生是非常重要的研究的这个报告。那在一一三年的时候呢，这个 low intensity 这个是这个体外振波的这个 ED 的治疗，已经由这个 EAU 呢，它已经等于说认可了，它是一个合法的一个第一线的 ED 的治疗。OK， we move forward with other studies here. Uh, next five studies I would like to mention. Number eleven, which was、uh, our first study with the linear focused shock wave. But it was with a different device. 好，那么这几篇的里头的话，红色的呢，像第十一的话，这一篇的话也有我们现场的这个他这个莫迪医生呢，他也有在挂名在第一个的啊。那么这里主要是研究的是 linear 的这样的一个 shock wave， 他的这个研究。And、uh, our first study, which was multicentric and placebo control study, was published in 2016. 啊，这个底下这个的话呢是。第一个有关于这个血管性的 ED 的这样的一个 shock wave 的治疗，二零一六年四月份所这一个呃完成的一份这个报告。Also is important the、uh, sorry. Also is important number fifteen because this was、uh, as far as I know one of the first studies with the patients after、uh, radical cystoprostatectomy. 好，那么。这个第十五的话也是很重要的一篇。那这一篇的话，等于是在这一个我们这个呃这个前列腺的切除了以后的一个完全切除之后之后做的一个 shock wave 的这样的一个 IED 的治疗。And we are now starting a study with the patients after radical prostatectomy because we think that this kind of treatment could be some some kind of penile rehabilitation. 好，那么。这个我们也开始，呃，现在呢有这样的病患，我们也开始做治疗，就是说，他完全这个前列腺切除之后，或者膀胱这边做了手术之后呢，他可以用这个 shock wave low intensity 的，对于这个啊、呃、我们这个 p a n e l 的这样的一个附件呢是有帮助。So here is the p r o t a l effect of low intensity shock waves. It、uh, creates shear stress and intracellular response. Uh, release of vasculitis, growth factor, and proliferating cellular antigen, and the result is the micro neovascularization. 那这边就是我们所谓的这个 erectile 的这个效果啊，它的疗效，用这个 low intensity 的这个 shock wave， 从 shear stress 开始，那么一路发展下去啊，到这个 enos 的到 VEGF， 再下来呢，最后我们就会有这个 micro 的这个啊，这个这个这个这个 vascularization 这样的。Uh, here is a short comparison of all the devices because I have a possibility to work with all of them. 这边就是几个不同的厂牌的这个比较。那么我们这位医生呢，他这几个他都有机会曾经都用过。And finally, I choose、uh, Pizza Wave. 那最后他就选择这个，就叫做 Pizza Wave， 就是压电式的。体外振波 ，I usually perform、uh, four sessions, once or twice a week. 好，那么他一
呃，一一个星期或两个星期呢，他会都会用这个机器做四个 session。By the STC technique and average uh, six thousand shocks per one session. 那每一个 session 平均的话是六千个 SPM. And uh, this is very important picture. 好，那么这个照片是很重要的一张。Because here we can see the development of this treatment first with uh, all these devices with was focal. 好，那么这边啊，它整个的这样的一个治疗用。一个线性的这样的一个体外震波的这个呃做法，它可以涵盖整个的组织。那从最左边那一边啊，从点状。Then、uh, Renova came with a linear probe. 啊，它是用这个线性 linear 的 probe 来做的。And finally, with Bezo Wave, we could use this LSTC AD technique, which covers whole erectile tissue completely. 啊，它是说三个不同的机器哈、啊，那么最。这个左边的那个是用这样的一个点状，中间是 linear 的，右边的是用这个所谓的压电式的 linear 的这样的一个 shock wave 来做，它可以整个 cover。And、uh, here is another improvement made by myself。那这是由我们这医生他自己所做的一个这个 improvement 一个改善。Because I think this is the future of this kind of treatment。那他认为这样的治疗是等于是未来是可以。Uh, Every patient is different. So we need to find a tailored treatment. So And with this algorithm, you could do so. Here you set the IF score, here you set the duration, how long the patient suffers from ED, here you check if he has uh, some kind of diseases and push the calculate button. score 那然后它会自动帮你算出它的总的这个呃这个数字出来。And you get a suggestion of how many shocks the patient should obtain in one session。那最底下那个六千就代表它可以用六千次的 shock 啊，那么呃就根据上面的它自动帮你算出来。So based on my experience, Piezo Vibe is the most suitable device for this. For this kind of treatment, and here are a few reasons. Na, so, according to our doctor's experience, the PISO wave, which is the shock wave, is the most suitable treatment for this kind of treatment. So, this is the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the six of them are the six of them. So, the 呃、uh, ，device 的话，你可以把你的 target 组织呢完全 cover 住。呃、uh, ，frequency of 8 hertz means shortest treatment time。那么用的频率是8个 hertz， 那意思就是说治疗的时间是用可以最短的。p i e z o e l e c t r i c source means five times lower durability than all other devices。那用这样的压电这样的来源的这样的波呢，振波的话就代表说。它的 duration 呢？啊，它的这个耐久力是值其他的机器的五倍。Very important is that、uh, with the piezo wave you could set up the shock wave penetration depth、uh, between 10 or 20 millimeters for ED。那么在做 ED 的治疗的话，这样的一台压电型的这个 shock wave 的机器的话呢，它的 penetration 啊，这个的深度呢，可以调整从十到二十个 millimeter。Or zero to five millimeter for Peyronie's disease, as I will talk about it later. 那么另外的话呢，这个呃 IPB 的这个治疗的话，零到五个 millimeter 可以来调。And with piezo wave,、uh, you could also use a mentioned algorithm. 好，那么另外的话呢，它这个 piezo wave 的这样的一个机器的话，它可以有它自己一个独特的一个运算的方式，它的 algorithm 是它自己独家的。And also acquisition costs and cost of operation of this device are exceptionally favorable. 
那当然呢，它的这个经济的这个效益也是相当呃不错的，也就是说，在成本效益方面呢，这台机器是最好的。Here are a few pictures、uh, from the treatment, and I will show you a very short videos. 好，那么这边就是一些治疗的一些影片，那么接下来可以播一两个短的影片。So patient is holding his testicles. 好，那么有病患自己呢，把他的阴茎这个抓住。And the doctor is moving over the perineal area. 那因此你看，医生就是从上下这样的移动。So covering throughout the penis. 它整个都涵盖所有的面积That we already know about uh, low intensity extracorporeal wave therapy for ED. Ah, 那么这边就是有关于这个 low intensity 的这个体外震波，我们已经知知道了七个啊，这个主要的重点。First of all, it's confirmed that uh, this kind of treatment really works, and the success rate of the treatment varies between 60 to 80 percent. 那么第一个的话呢，已经证明说它对于 ED 是可行的，它的成功率的话呢，大概是从六十。This kind of treatment could also cover up to 72% of PD5 non-responders to responders. 那么对于 PD5 这个 inhibitor 的这个 non-responder 呢，大概可以 cover 到七十二个 percent。那么用好了以后，它就会比如 respond。In general, it has rehabilitative or even curative effect on cavernous tissue. 那么对于海绵体的这个部分的话呢，它这个比如说，这个有曲度的这个，而且弯曲的这个情况的话，也会有一点诶，这个附件的功能。And scientific data suggests that low intensity shockwave treatment improves ED by promoting angiogenesis. 那在科学的数据呢，就是证明出来说呢，用这样的一个 low intensity 的 shockwave 呢，它可以提升啊这个血管的这个新生，那么改善 ED。Once again, I would like to repeat that. For this kind of treatment, could be used only for twist shock waves and no pressure waves. 那再一次强调哈，这样的一个 ED 的治疗只能够用 focus 的 shock wave， 而不要用 pressure wave. And the use of complete tissue coverage by LSTC ED technique and the use of algorithm is always advantageous. 那么它有可以刚刚看过影片，完整的把它的 tissue 都 cover 起来。那它自己呢，它可以根据不同的病患做。这个刻制化、个人化的这样的一个运算的一个计划。And of course, careful selection of patients and an assessment of endothelial function is very crucial. 那当然要很小心的选择我们的病患啊，以及这个要评估他这个啊这个内皮组织的这个功能，这个很重要的。呃 ，Here is our last study. It will be published in one month in European Urology as a letter to the editor. 呃，这个呢，大概一个月之后就要出版的，在欧洲泌尿科协会呢会出版的一个研究。And also in another journal, but I could not talk about it uh, because it's not published yet. 那这边呢是另外一个期刊的哈，这个 study， 但是还没有办法谈，因为这个还没有 publish 出来。So just very, very briefly, it's a study with LSTCD technique and it's single blind sham control randomized trial. 啊，那么就是说，他呢这边可以，呃，可以看到的话，他的大标题呢，大概知道他做些什么样的报告。他是一个 single blind 的哈，然后做一个这个对照组的，和这个这个 random 的这个选择的这个随机取样的一个临床试验。And we found statistically significant difference between the group of between the placebo group and the treatment group. 那当然，他的结论就是说，在 placebo 的这个 group 跟这个治疗的这个 group 之间
得到的结果差异性是很大的。呃、uh, ，at four and twelve weeks after the treatment， 那这是指四到十二个星期之后治疗之后的一个结果。Thank you very much。好，谢谢。Thanks for the, the excellent talk. So, do we have any questions from the floor? I have one question. And I re, I'm very interested in your tailored treatment. Now, according to your algorithm or your calculator, if I have all the more comorbidity, I have diabetes, I have hypertension, I have a cardiovascular disease, uh, according to your calculator, how many shots? Do I have to, to be applied? Okay. You can have a good question, very good question. You could check it on the website, the algorithm is on the website. And uh, unfortunately now I'm not online, so I couldn't show it to you. But uh, if you will put the worst parameters, then you will get the information, no treatment suggested. <laughs> okay, so it means you can try, you can try the treatment, but I, I don't suggest it, okay? 给他简单讲，刚才的问题就是说呢，他有个个人化的治疗嘛，他那个 algorithm 可以根据根据你输入东西来算出来这几个下。那那么刚才呢，问问题就是说，那我有很多的这个问题啊，我有糖尿病啊、高血压等等等等，那算出来会多少？他说他没办法上线，如果上线的话，你算出来，最后他是不 recommend 做 treat。Doctor Modi, if you get Wi-Fi, could we show the algorithm? Yes. Yeah, for just better understanding. Yeah. If you can uh, yeah. open yeah, the, the, the browser, browser. Yeah. Open uh, the browser, put the, 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 pay, the address inside the, yes. the browser. Uh, you can go to uh, www.ed-shockwave.com uh, for you who have like uh, smartphones. Okay. Uh, you could actually uh, you know, uh, practice. Yeah, just sign the w.ed-shockwave.com. But for you with smartphones, would you try please? Accept, then um, you you press this button and uh, please go to uh, user area. User area. User area. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. There. Oh. Yes. Okay. Over here. Try it up there. You go user area. Yeah. 
it works on their phone. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So I could close this. Yeah. Okay. So uh, is there any questions for Paul? I have questions. Yes. <laughs> is there any evidence showing that the, the linear shower is better than nonlinear one? Uh, to be honest, uh, not. I cannot say that uh, the linear itself is the is better, but uh, the the reason is that with linear you could cover whole tissue, complete tissue coverage. So that's logically implies me that it should be better, but uh, you could not expect miracle miracle changes. But it's like empirical. So uh, is, is there any difference in the protocol um, of, of uh, linear compared to nonlinear? Uh, uh, other companies have uh, standard protocols, but it's still, it's still the problem because we need to find the ideal protocol. There is no, uh, no ideal protocol yet, okay? But uh, my idea is that we have to go this way. We have to go the way to cover all tissue and to make a, a tailored treatment special for every patient. That's uh, my goals, two goals, okay? And how, how you reach it, it depends on you. If you use uh, one probe or second probe, you can use a uh, focal probe and uh, move over uh, all tissue or as you wish. But uh, my approach is that first of all, we need to cover whole tissue. And second, we need to make a tailored treatment special for this patient because if the patient is uh, uh, very very unhealthy, okay, if he suffers for ED maybe 15 years, if he has hypertension, uh, many diseases, then the, probably the the result of the treatment will be poor, okay. So th we we could not give the same number of shocks to every patient. That's what I want to say. 他说其实他也没有一个正确的证据显示出来但是以涵盖T-Show来讲 然后有各种的病，那高血压等等，所以健康情况也不良，所以每一个人需要的这个shock的数量都不一样，所以它的两个目标，第一cover要全部cover tissue，第二要 you know, I tried uh, many devices, okay, and I don't want to be against one or another device, you know, I just want to. Uh, make you clear why I choose this device. I have our reasons. And I think these reasons are clear and, and, and good. Yeah,因为它是一个各种各样的厂牌的机器,它也不能批评做哪一个好哪一个不好。可是它说以它要的目标来讲,它觉得它现在用的这一套机器是最适合它能够达到它要的刚刚讲的两个目标。Fragment or the Asia the different penal size the shower uh, recommendation and maybe maybe uh, the strong and uh, you need to do more uh, shock. Yes, yes. Uh, of course, uh, usually the penal size is uh, is similar because there are not such a big differences in our in our country. <laughs> usually, it's about the same. Okay, but of course, I remember I have one patient with a really big penis. So to be honest, I add more shocks because I need to cover more tissue. So sometimes you could, uh, you could uh, think about it, of course. Okay. But in general, the majority is plus minus the same. We are talking about extremes, you know. You can have also penis, penis like this or you can like this. It's, uh, those are extremes. Yeah,除了极端的情况之外呢,一般他说在他们国家size都差不多了,所以他的number of the sharks也都差不多,政府不会差太多,所以如果比较size大的话,他当然要涵盖cover的面积大,他的这个sharks要多一点,那除此之外大概差不多都接近接近。Thank you for your wonderful speech.
I'm a Christian. Um, during the treatment of the erectile dysfunction, we are familiar with the combination of a BD vibe inhibitor and a short wave. In other ways, uh, during the penile rehabilitation, we are more familiar with the combination of PD5 inhibitor and the Lepakin device. So these three, uh, three options, could it be um, cocktail therapies uh, during the treatment of erectile dysfunction or a penile re rehabilitation? Okay, my opinion is definitely yes. That's my opinion. Okay,那么就是我问题说是不是PDU5的inhibitor和Sharkwave还有这些药物是不是可以做一个整合结合的这样的使用,他说他的答案是yes. Uh, because I think uh, logically PDU5inhibitors could improve the blood flow to the new creating vessels. Okay, PDU5inhibitors会增加这个blood vessel. But during the, during the by, by the recommendation of uh, European Sex, uh, Society of Sexual Medicine, during the studies with shockwaves, uh, we could not use PD5 inhibitors during the study. Oh,那么在欧洲的他们协会的规定就是在你做shockwave的研究的期间，你不可以用PDU的inhibitor啊，只能够做shockwave做这样的一个study. But uh, in normally in my patients, when I'm treating my patient, I tell him uh, there's no problem to use the PD5 inhibitor during the during the treatment. Or yeah,但是他给他的patient的建议就是说你在用我的下跪的期间，我不会禁止你，你还是可以继续用PD5. I think it could be even helpful. 可能更有帮助. Uh, I am not using vacuum device. It's it's rare. In our country, not using it so, so much. We, we mostly, the absolute majority of patients use PD5 inhibitors or maybe sometimes cover check intra alpha study on intracavernously. So, yeah. what, what kind of PD5 you use? Is it your ultimate or one state? Uh, and most of the patients use only uh, sildenafil, okay. not, not, not uh, tenalafil once daily, it's not common. Thank you, Dr. Motil. I have one question. Based on your experience, can, can we establish any model, prediction model to let us early identify who will benefit, who will be effective after uh, to finish the whole course? Because in Taiwan, the charge is is uh, is one time uh, case a uh, one time charge, a one time charge, not for course. So can we predict patient to to gain benefit uh, in earlier? Based on your experience, yeah. Uh, my experience is that, uh, of course, most benefit as a patient with uh, higher IF score, okay, with uh, less duration of ED. If somebody suffers for ED two years, then probably the result will be very good. If somebody tells you that he suffers for ED 10 years, 15 years, then probably the result will be not good. Also, if somebody is a diabetic on insulin therapy for many, many, many years, then usually the result is not good, and so on. That's that's how I do it. Any crew in the during the treatment, uh, not the, before the treatment. during the treatment. Because okay, I such as the the sensation this uh, okay. change. I understand. I understand. Uh, one of the signs that uh, the treatment is working is that. Uh, after the third session, not sooner, but after the third session, patient told you that he has a morning erection. That, that is a good sign. That is always a very good sign. When patient came and said, uh, doctor, after many, many years, I have morning erection. That's a good sign. Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit. The question is, do you have a model? Because in Taiwan, you have to pay a lot of money. 那到底效果怎么样？没预测性的一个model，那他说，呃，其实的话呢，他就是说，IIF的这个score越高，还有你的ED的这个时间越短的话，当然我们就会知道它的呃做出来的效果会比较更好。如果你ED的时间十到十五
你再问他，他说我早上起来有 erection， 那这样的话就代表他就好了，就就效果不错。第三次以后还，就早上起来还不会的话，那就代表他的效果不好。嗯、One more question. Okay. If I only have the port focusing device, can I modify my technique or modify my port code to have the therapeutic effect as compared to the piezo wave? I know the people is always the best, but I only have the point focus. Okay, I'm only have my technique to have similar result. Uh, to be honest, I think that uh, piezo wave has uh, not only advantage of LSTC technique and uh, algorithm, but also that you can set the penetration depth of the shock waves. Because as far as I know. Uh, other devices like ED1000 or Renova, they have the shockwave penetration very deep. Maybe I'm not sure exactly how how much is it, but as far as I know, it's minimum four centimeters, about four centimeters or more. Okay, is the in the is the center of the shockwave. Okay, but with the piezo wave, you could set the penetration that about I, I usually use 10 to 15 millimeters so the center shock of the shock wave is in the cavernous tissue okay so I'm not sure if you you could use uh, the, the point focused uh, device with the same result no I don't want to to be like uh, I'm saying this is the best in uh, the world I just using it because I think it's, it's, it's the best but you know it's it's difficult for me to say the only ways to buy new ones, right? <laughs> I, I'm, you know, it's, I don't want to. I can tell you about the, my experiences, my terrible experiences with other devices. With, because, for example, I had very big technical problems with, with uh, other devices, and uh, this is very high quality product. But I will not tell you what kind of devices is, is, is that, because I don't want to be like that at the time against someone. OK， 那么总结一下刚才问跟答哈，就是说，呃，问题说有只有我们医院里只有 point focus device 的话，是不是可以修正一下 protocol 来用这一台机器？那他的答案就是说，因为他只他觉得这个压电式的 piezo wave 的话，他刚刚讲过，他的 penetration 的深度是可以调十到二十 millimeter 之间，就是比较浅了，其他的机器都打得很深到四十个 millimeter。所以呢，他觉得说，呃，这台机器的话，十到二十个 mm 的话，它通常是用十到十五个 mm 的深度，刚好它的那个中心点就是打在它的海绵体上面去，他觉得这个是他觉得是最好的效果。对。One more question. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Mobile. Uh, I I have two questions. The first one is, uh, do you always do the Shock wave on curves first and then pin down shaft, or it doesn't matter. And the second question is that, uh, what's your opinion about the uh, uh, pin down rehabilitation after the prostatectomy? How early or what? Yes. Time? First question. No. It uh, no. It's, you can you can make it how you wish. Okay. And the second question is definitely yes. As I mentioned, we are right now starting study. Uh, with the patient after radical prostatectomy with the penile rehabilitation. We just began this month. And uh, we choose the patient, uh, inclusion criteria is minimum uh, three months after the surgery. Minimum and maximum one year after the surgery. Cruise 这边先做还是 shaft 的还是都无所谓，它当然就是没有关系啊，都可以。另外的话呢，就是在前列腺呢切除之后的话，呀、嗯，怎么样是可以做是可以做吗？他是可以的。他说他通常会在术后三个月到一年之间，请他来做。What are the percentage that your patient receive the second course of treatment after a few years later? Okay, uh, not very much, maybe. 5%, percent, percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. because uh, I don't think that it's uh, you could repeat it forever, you know, this kind of treatment. I um, I think that if uh, it doesn't work after maybe four or six sessions, it will not uh, be better after eight or ten. It's my experience. And uh, 
after uh, I have few patients that uh, were that were very happy after the treatment and then came after two years, but there are only maybe five eight percent maximum five percent. Thank you. Yeah, 刚刚问题就是说你这个是不是多多久几年之后再回来要重做？他说一般来讲。两年之后回来的呢，就是第一次做完很 happy 的，两年之后回来的大概只有五到八 percent。通常他的经验是四到六个 session 之后效果不好的话，你继续做到八到十 session 效果不会好。So how long you can this can last for one course? Questions? Hello? Yeah. How many years? How many years this last? Oh, once again, uh, the, the effect of the treatment, how long last? Okay, uh, it depends again on the situation of the patient. If the patient is relatively healthy man, if he is uh, doing some sports or he, if he is a non-smoker, okay, then the effect could persist for many, many years. On the other side, if he is a smoker, if he has a diabetes and he, he lives not healthy life, then the result will be maybe one or maximum two years. So the answer is that, how long can you continue to work? He says, if the patient is healthy, he often exercises, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, 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 he doesn't drink. Yeah, again, because of the low percentage of the unsuccessful case, is it because of the machine or what? I don't mean that this is unsuccessful race. I mean that uh, a lot of my patients, uh, they, they do not expect miracles, okay? I just perform the treatment and they are satisfied. But uh, I always tell them, you could not uh, repeat it forever, okay? When after the exact amount of years, maybe after two years or three years, the erection will come again worse. But the patient is smoker, he is a fat man, okay? So I tell him, it's not needed to repeat the treatment again because we could not improve it forever. You know? It's not possible to improve it forever and be better and better. better. The, the whole body is, go, is coming older and uh, it's not, not possible forever. So, so it's important to improve the erection and to help, tell the patients to live a healthy life. Okay? Then it could uh, last for a long time. But change the lifestyle. Okay? Yes, change the lifestyle. But no, it's not. I, I'm always telling my patient that it's not good idea that they will come uh, every year to my clinic and I will uh, make it better and better every year, always, all time. It's not possible from my point of view. So, if your patient success the treatment, do you recommend your patient to do the heavy heavy bars to do that to to make a longer effect? To do what? Every month, every month to do the same treatment for one one treatment for the long life, long longevity. No, no, no. No, you don't recommend your patient to do that. No. Okay, because in my patient, what I have a couple cases, they will do every month come back to do like the you know. Um, I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid that uh, there is some some uh, uh, amount of energy. That could be even uh, not uh, uh, could be harmful for the tissue. If you uh, if you saw the the slide, there is some energy that is that is safe, but you couldn't uh, apply uh, unlimited amount of energy to the tissue. You know. Okay, 那简单讲就是说呢，他说你要跟你的培训讲，这个不是奇迹，不是 miracle 的，它会创造 miracle 的。那只要满意就行了，然后你的生活的形态一定要改掉，要走上健康的、不抽烟的。那也不能说一直回来做这样子，那么人都会老嘛。But this kind of treatment is relatively new, and there are a lot of questions to be answered in the future. So maybe we find some way in the future how to do it. It's it's a new method, so there are a lot of questions. Yeah, so this is a new technology, so. 还是有一些个，呃，有待解决的一些个呃问题啦，或者是顾虑啦，所以慢慢慢慢发展以后会怎么样？那可能会更好一点。I just want to tell that uh, I'm trying to inform my patient, my patient that way that as he will uh, become older, 
the all functions will go worse, and I couldn't help him forever. Yeah, so it will become like. 人都越来越老嘛，所有的技能都会慢慢退化，所以我不能永远帮你。So I have one last question for the same session.、Um, so how much does it cost for one treatment in in check? It depends. It depends. Uh, uh, in my clinic, uh, I must say I'm a cheapest, very cheap. Uh, but uh, average. Amount in Czech Republic is about 1,000 euros to 1,500 euros. It's for, uh, average for, six, for 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 complete treatment, complete treatment, complete treatment four sessions. Package, package, package about 1,000. It's similar to US dollars, 1,000 or 1,500 US dollars in average. But in my clinic is、uh, 600 euros. Euro. Oh, then. 在捷克，他在捷克开诊所嘛，那他说他们的 charge 是，平均来讲，在捷克是一一个整个的 treatment 一个套装一千到一千五百欧元，那他那边的话是，他这边是收六百。他套装几次 ？Package one package for how many？ One package for sessions。四个 session。And sometimes if patient、uh, is not satisfied, then I add. Three ex,、uh, two extra sessions for free. Yeah, 不满意再免费做两次 One session is six times. Four sessions is standard treatment. 啊，标准是四个 session。他刚刚讲，如果四个 session 还不满意，再加送两个。他一个 session 就一次了。So one session is one week. Week. One week. 一个星期一个 session. One session weekly. Okay, one session weekly, four sessions. Four together. 等于说四个礼拜做四个 session， 一个礼拜一个嘛。It this is a package. 这就叫做它的 package. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shui Songmei, for much experience with us. So because of limited time, we are moving to the next talk. Thank you, Dr. Ho. And I'm going to share the next session. Next session is about the CPPS. As we know, CPPS has a very common disorder. It not only bother the patient, and also bother our doctors ourselves. So the next topic is CPPS and its treatment by piezoelectric low intensity focus shunt waste. Thank you, Dr. Monson. Thank you once again. So let me talk about this、uh, kind of treatment.、Um, you know what、uh, CPPS means that we have a lot of patients. We could not、uh, find an exact and uh, uh, good treatment for everybody because the etiology, pathogenesis, and、uh, therefore also optimal treatment remains still unknown. 好，那么接下来呢，由他给我们讲 CPPS 的这个部分。那这边呢，也就是用同样的，用这样的一个啊、呃，这个体外振波的这个方式来做他的治疗。那当然是。每一个病人的情况，它都是不一样的。但是，这个的型 CPPS 的年龄层在男性的话也是很广。And as you know, a wide variety of pharmacologic and non-pharmacologic therapies have been studied, but most have shown limited efficacy. 那么我们也都知道呢，在它的病原病因的话呢，还有治疗的方式呢，都呃做了蛮多的。但是呢，呃有很多，比如说病药理性的、非药理性的治疗都做过，那也。嗯，这个效果是有限。CPPS prevalence range from two、uh, to ten percent。呃，它的这个 CPPS 的话，大概呢发生的这个情况是从百分之二到百分之十。And symptoms include mainly pelvic pain。啊，主要的症状呢就是你的这个 pelvic 啊，它会痛，骨盆的痛。And variable degree of voiding the sexual dysfunction。那当然呢，有各种呃不同程度的这个排尿以及这个性功能失调的这个情况。As the etiology is currently unknown, there are no established treatment that consistently relieve patients from their symptoms. 那 CPPS 的话呢，目前的病原的部分呢还是未知的，那也没有一个整个以及啊、呃、做出来的一个实证的可以治疗的这样的一个方法，也没有一致性的这样的一个方式。So,、uh, what are our goals in the treatment of CPPS? First of all, we need to 
uh, do pain elimination, secondly, inflammation suppression, and third, nerve regeneration. 那很明显的做这个CTPS的治疗目标就是三个，要把这个痛的疼痛呢，呃，这个消除掉，发炎的情况压下去，那么nerve呢要再生。And uh, here is the uh, study by Angela Notico Notar Nicola from 2012。呃，这是2012年的呢，这样的一个这两个人的研究，他所出版的是关于。用我们的体外震波做出来的治疗的这个报告 They studied the effect of uh, shockwave on uh, tissue 啊, 这边是做这个shockwave在tissue上面 它产生的效果的这个报告 And they show that uh, uh, they, 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 they have seen upregulation of proliferating cellular antigen TG, uh, F beta 1 gene expression and uh, it was followed also by uh, nitric oxide production. expression And uh, so here are uh, other studies uh, with shockwave and uh, What's important? First of all, it shows, as I mentioned in my previous uh, presentation, that this kind of treatment support neovascularization in the tissues. Which means it improves blood supply and healing process. 那么也就是说呢，它会改善所谓的血液的这个供给以及这个呃治疗的这个过程。呃， uh, Dr. Hausner and the colleagues in his study confirmed that uh, shockwaves also improve rate of peripheral nerve regeneration. 那么这个医生呢，就是 Hausner 和他的同事做的一个研究，这个 shockwave 呢，它会改善所谓的末梢神经的这个再生的这个这个比率。and also it supports an anti-inflammatory effect. This is very, very important, uh, could be said, groundbreaking study. It was done by, in Austria by Professor Zimmerman in 2010, and this was first prospectively randomized double-blind study. 那么在2010年呢，有这个医生叫做Zimmerman，他所做的一个研究报告，是一个随机取样的randomized双盲的啊，placebo还有控制组的这样的研究。With sixty patients，六十个病患。And the result was that all thirty patients in the Verum group showed statistically highly significant improvement of pain quality of life. And voiding conditions following extractor shockwave treatment in comparison to the placebo group. 那么这边红字呢，就是它的最重要的结论。说哦，对，对，三十个病患，三十个patient呢，在这个我们的这个整个在真实测试的这个组里面显示出来，跟这个placebo的组来比较的话，它大幅度的改善，就是疼痛的这
呃能能量要多少，它的那个能量的中心点就会打到它那个 center 去。So、uh, in conclusion, uh, I could say that the CPS treatment by low intensity shockwave seems to be an effective and safe method, which a result could be pain relieving with anti-inflammatory effect. And tissue regeneration. 那最后一个结论就是用这个 low intensity 的这个振波，紫外振波来做 CPBS 治疗的话呢，似乎是有效的，而且是一个安全的方法。它呢会使得这个疼痛呢这个释放掉、消除掉，同时会有一个抗发炎的这个效果，以及这个组织的再生。Of course, it's a mistake. It's not CPS, it's not CPBS. Sorry for that. <laughs> 对，他他是打错了啊，这 CPBS。Okay, and now a very brief overview of Peyronie's disease treatment with this kind of device because this device is suitable or also for Peyronie's disease. 好，那么现在呢，他稍微介绍一下佩罗尼氏的这个疾病，因为这个机器也适合治疗佩罗尼氏这个疾病。And then Peyronie's disease is well known to you. It's a connective tissue disorder affecting the tunica albina of the penis, causing problems such as penile during the erection, erectile dysfunction, and penile deformity. 那么这种疾病的话呢，它是一个所谓的连接组织的病变引起来，这个阴茎的海绵体的这个白膜白膜呢发生了这个病变，因此造成了这个阴茎的 penis 的这个疼痛。变形、勃起功能的不良啊、呃、等等，那么 intercourse 就是困难。A、prevalence is relatively low with the uh, with the um, men uh, between the 45 and 60, 65 years of age。那这个发生的话，这个比例不高了哈，是男性四十五到六十五岁中间，他的只有百分之三点二，八百分之八点九的样子。And the reason for this disease is probably the penile trauma during intercourse. 那么主要的原因呢，可能是在这个 intercourse 的时候呢，阴茎受到创伤。The risk factors include diabetes, cigarette smoking, and very often it's this 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 disease is in correlation with the uterus contractures. 那么当然有一些风险的因子造成的，比如说。啊，你是抽烟啊、糖尿病啊、喝酒啊、高血压啊、自体免疫这个疾病等等，这些都是风险因子。呃 ，so here is some important information about the study from 1996. 这是一九九六年以后所做的一些个 study， because it has been shown on based on the Meta-analysis of seventeen studies. Seventeen studies. 这是用这个呃十七个研究里面做出来的 meta-analysis， 就是统合的分析。That this treatment is effective in uh, uh, reducing penile pain during erection. 那研究的结果就是说，这样的一个体外振波的这个治疗的话呢，它是对于这个 penile 的这个疼痛呢，在这个勃起 erection 的时候呢。它是有效的，在做这个疼痛的这个啊，这个这个消除。And that was also stated by International Consultation on Sexual Medicine in 2010. And then there is a real evidence confirming that shockwave could improve Peyronie's disease-related pain. 那另外的话呢，在二零一零年的时候呢，有这个国际的所谓的。啊，性学医学的这个资呃，这个顾问这个协会呢，就 I C S M 啊，他们也有这个发表一个陈述，就是说呢，有证有实证呢，确认了这个 E S W L 的在改善佩罗尼氏相关的疼痛，它是可以扮演相当的一个角色。呃、uh, ，this is a very nice study with one hundred fifty three patients. 啊，这个 study 的话，涵盖了一百五十三个 patient。And once again, it confirms that shockwave therapy cures pain. 啊，那么再一次，它也 confirm 呢，这样的一个 shockwave 呢，它确实可以治疗这个疼，这个所谓的疼痛。But only in a less degree, it improves the angulation of the penis, and only a little it improves elasticity of the plug. 可是呢，对于这个我们的这一个勃起的这样的一个
这个有这个弯曲的这个角度的这个改善呢，是比较少的。那而且是对于这一个，它只会改善这个硬块的它的这个弹性 ，elasticity 会改善。From my personal experience. Uh, the success rate in reducing pain is about 80 to 90 percent. And uh, what is very important is that with Bizovac, you could set the penetration depth of the shockwave to 0 or 5 millimeters, which means you have the center of the shockwave again directly in, in the plaque. 那重用这个 Pizza Wave 的这台机器的话，它最大的好处是它的深度是零到五个 millimeter， 就刚好可以在你要治疗的 tissue 大概的中心点那一带位置。Here is、uh, how I perform the treatment. I use always the highest energy settings, and、uh, here on the right you can see the the peroneus plaque, and here is the linear probe over the plaque. 好，那么这是他的治疗的这个示意图的哈，他的 energy setting 都是在允许范围的最大的这个 energy， 然后右边就是他用 linear 的这个 shock wave 的方式，在那个硬块的那边啊开始做治疗。So here is my treatment protocol. I usually perform 1,000 to 3,000 shocks in one session directly into the plug. We have. 那么我们可以看到他的治疗的 protocol 啊，那么在这个硬块的那个直边直直接放上去一个 session 一千到三千下 ，with penetration zero or five millimeters， 呃，它的这个进去的深度是零到五个 millimeter，frequency eight hertz and all together、uh, for start I perform three sessions and then I make an evaluation。那么频率是调到八赫兹，它总共做三 session 之后，它就会做评估。And then possible retreatment、uh, up to ten sessions. 那可能再重新去 treat 的话，可以做到十个 session. Or you can use also varapamil injection. 或者是用这个注射的方式啊 ，varapamil 的注射。Thank you. 好，谢谢。Thank you, Dr. Mozel. This session is open for discussion. So any question or any comments from the floor? So feel free to raise your question. I have a question. Okay. Uh, a slightly patient, CDPS patient, are also heterogeneous. So do you have any tailored treatment for this? Just like the new treatment? No, no, no. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't have the the, the tailored treatment, and the reason is that uh, with uh, ED treatment, I have experience with hundreds of patients. Up to date, maybe. Four or five hundred patients. So, if you have experience with such a big number of patients, then you could uh, you could create such an algorithm. That's how I created based on my experience. With CTPS, I start. Uh, I forget it. I, I treat the prostatitis before with uh, thermotherapy. I have uh, also in my office. I have a prostate thermotherapy device. So I use the thermotherapy. And I started with shockwaves only one or two years ago, so I don't have uh, such a number of patients to, to create a special. Yeah, I'm going to have one. You saw, got the ED, na, ha, yo, tailor, the, yo, personal, wa, the protocol. Na, uh, CPPS, yo, mei, yo, na, na, ha, the, da, an, shi, so, ED, ha, yo, shi, yin, wei, ha, yi, jin, zuo, le, si, wu, bai, de, patient, na, ha, shou, ji, de, data, zu, go, lai, zuo, zi, yang, de, yi, ge. 啊、uh, ，Taylor 的这样的一个做的 protocol，CPPS 它是一两年之前才开始用 shockwave 的，那之前都用这个 thermal therapy 的方式，所以它还没有办法有足够的数据。Okay, any question? I think because the, CP, the symptom of CPPS is so varied, so some 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 patient may complain perineal discomfort, somebody may may complain groin discomfort, somebody may complain Computing discomfort. So, can we apply the energy to 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 the, the area in addition to the perineum, such as the suprapubic area? Can we apply the energy to the suprapubic area? Uh, I perform I perform the treatment from uh, from perineal area, and I always ask the patient uh, to navigate me, 
and he could feel the shocker directly in the prostate, like it's, it's similar like to massage of the prostate with the finger. Okay? The patient could uh, feel the shocker directly in the prostate, and then it's okay. okay. I use a similar similar way to, to find some trigger points. Yes, that's it. That's yeah, trigger, trigger points, points exactly. Patient, that's, yes. that's it. Trigger point. You, you need to move a little, move the probe, and to find the trigger point, and then you are okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and also sometimes I apply uh, some energy around the prostate uh, on the pelvic floor, some around the surrounding areas, also surrounding areas. Thank you, Dr. Mokula. Two questions. The first one is uh, do you think the simultaneously prostate massage with the sugar treatment at the same time? will have the synergic effect. And the second question is, we know the etiology and the, and the, the symptom similar between CPPS and ICPPS. Do you try, will you, you try to treat ICPPS BPS for, by, by sugar treatment? Do you think it is a reason, reason there? You know? I'm sorry, I'm sure, not sure, I don't understand the second question. Uh, the second question is, uh, we know the, First, okay, let's go. First question is: First question is using the prostate massage simultaneously. Okay. okay. Uh, first question. The answer is I don't know. I have no experience. <laughs> so that's the first question. No. So do I you know. do you uh, think this is not good for, uh, for our practice? I, to be honest, uh, in uh, our practice, uh, we don't use prostate massage very often. It's uh, Maybe in the past many years, as I remember when I was younger, urologist, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, it has been used more yeah. often. But prostate massage is not 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 so popular today. Okay. We are not using it so much. So I, I have no such experiences. Okay. The second question is the CPPS share the same the similar etiology and complex symptoms uh, with the IC and PPS. BPS. Do you, will you try to use sugar to treat IC PPS patients? IC PPS? IC, interstitial sustitial ah, yeah, I, I understand. Okay, okay, now I understand. Yes, of course. Of course. No, I didn't try it, but uh, just yesterday we talked about it uh, with colleague because uh, I think that uh, I should try it. Uh, the reason is that uh, when you use the, the probe with the penetration about eight or maybe nine centimeters from uh, abdomen, you can reach the trigon of the bladder, okay? You can reach the, the bottom of the bladder, okay? And, uh, and the whole bladder wall, so it could be beneficial. I think it's uh, possible to try it. It's not, uh, it's not dangerous, it's a very safe method, so definitely I would try it, yes. But I have no such experience in my practice. OK,那剛剛那個總結一下,就是說剛剛是說那個prostate的那邊做按摩,massage加上shockwave效果會更好,他說他們有經驗,而且在捷克那邊他們已經數年前、二十年前用這個massage,現在已經沒有在不太用了
Yes, I know, but what what kind of you know, treatment of CPPS? Yes, when treating CPPS, CPPS. Uh, here this you focus on the prostate. There are different probes. You can uh, you can use a different uh, therapy sources. So Richard, you know more about it because I use only one therapy source, but there are different therapy sources, and maybe there could be deep. Uh, what's the maximum uh, penetration depth possible with uh, with the uh, piece of it? Ten centimeters, hundred percent. Okay, so ten centimeters. Yes, so you can use. Uh, probe with 10 centimeters uh, penetration at the maximum. In uh, prostate, uh, in CPPS, targeting the prostate, it's usually uh, about uh, 5 centimeters under the skin, like this, usually, plus minus 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters. So, if you have a probe, you can use a probe, you can probe, you can probe, you can use a 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 probe, you 那他说像那个 prostate的话，用CPPS的话，是用在skin底下五公分的位置。他说他用一这个probe可以深入到那。Go <笑> Yes, <laughs> yeah, so, what, what is this? Yeah, it's a new probe that you use in Europe. We don't. We just introduced in Taiwan recently. Uh -huh. So we talk about ten, ten centimeter. That's new yeah, to us. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for a peritoneal disease. I'm mm -hmm. very interested in peritoneal. Our test would tell us to to do the corrective surgery after the angle is stabilized. So what is your time to do the shock wave to the peritoneal disease? In the beginning or after the angle is stabilized? After the angle stabilized, and I, you know, I have uh, once again I start to do the this kind of treatment one or two years ago. I have not so many patients, but from my experience, uh, I would like to say first of all, uh, it really works against the pain. Okay, if you have a patient who has a pain during the erection, uh, the shockwave will improve it. Okay. 您是说他的那个有曲度、角度、角度，不是角度的速度跟我们讲说，我们手术要开刀，好，因为为什么好方法？打针什么其实都有限，但是我们的治疗就是要把那个曲度都稳定之后，我们才会去开刀，才把它
So what's the motivation and the courage for you to go out from hospital to private clinic? <laughs> it's uh, it was a personal reasons. Personal reason because uh, um, you always have to uh, you have to see the wife besides everything. There is always wife beside. Okay, and my wife wants to move to Brno because she was born there. So we moved to Brno and I was working in a very, very good hospital, but it was difficult for me to travel every day to, to work because it takes almost 90 minutes by not very good roads. So that's why I opened my office in Brno and I go only one weekly, once, once Monday in a week to that hospital. Not every day. Okay, because of, because of family problem. Okay. It's not, not family, it was... <laughs> That just opened his yeah. own clinic last last month. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no problem. It was just uh, the wish of my family and my wife. But they they want to move to Brno, which is a big city. Okay. So we moved there, and uh, as I told you, how to do in private clinic? How, to, how can we do a lot? Uh, what do you do uh, usually in your clinic? Except this, everything. Is there anything else? I think uh, it's very big difference between uh, Czech Republic and, 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 uh, and the rest of the world because it's for a long discussion. We talked with, 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 uh, with, with Richard uh, recently, we discussed it. It's a, a quite special situation in Czech Republic. It's, uh, it could be a long discussion. We could stay here for an hour and can discuss it with you. But it's very difficult because completely different, believe me. Because because uh, in Czech Republic everybody is covered and uh, we don't have private insurance, uh, the patient could not pay for the healthcare, everything is for free, except, except the ED treatment. <laughs> except the ED treatment is paid by, uh, the, everything is for free, every. Healthcare, healthcare is absolutely free. And uh, the patient, if you have uh, agreement with uh, health insurance company, because there is only a health insurance company by government guarantee. We have no private insurance, okay? There is only health insurance uh, by government, and if the doctor has an uh, agreement, then the doctor could not uh, take money. It's against the law. The doctor could not take the money from the patient when doing some kind of treatment. So everything is free. Okay. 大概简单讲一下因为他开业十七年了然后他一个礼拜去一天原来的hospital那其他的都是在自己的诊所因为他个人的理由他太太要搬回去原来的出生的大城市所以他只好去那边开业那一个礼拜回去原来的hospital一天
Uh, we cannot change it because it's a political solution. The politicians don't want to say people to pay for something. Okay, the politicians are still saying to people that everything should be for free. Everything, every, every people are the same, everything is for free. We have still communism in Czech Republic. Yeah. In healthcare, yeah. completely communist country. For for patient this is very good because patient pays nothing and we have a very good health care, very very well equipped, everything is perfect. Okay, so for patient this is good but not for doctors and nurses. <laughs> Any comments? Hmm? Okay, because time is up, so I'm going to close in this session. So today we are very lucky to listen to Dr. Montiel's very comprehensive, very interesting lecture. So we all get a lot. Okay. So let's give a big hand to Dr. Montiel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you Thank you once again. It was a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. Okay, next question. A Chinese? Ah, 接下来我就讲中文喽。好，那今天很开心啊，能来主持这个会议哦。那就是谢谢钟主任，还有谢谢 Wolf 公司，谢谢 Dr. Mobile Organize 这个很有意义的一个会啊。啊，刚好这个是一个体外治疗，刚好在我们治疗上，像像我们的医学会，我们从我们这届的李监事，我们从二零一七年开始啊。那自从我们上任之后，我们就办了三场的一个 E W P 的 workshop。我那时候我看很多在场都有参加，像我们整形外科的医师他也有参加。我们在台北办了第一场的一个一个工作坊，然后，那我相信这个消费者一定不是 E D 治疗的最后的一个一个 ending 的，一定还会有新的治疗，哈。那我也希望说，以后有更多的人，那更多的机会来参加类似的一个一个一个演讲，一个 workshop。今天非常谢谢大家的参加，谢谢。谢谢。